Hi, Kelly here at Cochran Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochran, Alberta. And today I've got a 2012 Sienna Limited all-wheel drive to show you. So this 2012 is actually in very good shape for the year. There are a few little body um, scuffs and stuff here. I'll show as many of them as I can in this video, but the all-wheel drive is a big selling feature. And again, been actually very well maintained. Service through Toyota all the way through. Um, this guy's just had a brand new set of tires on there. Um, we installed those. We put brand new set of um, brakes on this thing as well. So rims and tire, or not rims, sorry, but brakes, tires, um, all brand new. The windshield's nice and clean for you. There are a few scuffs, like I said, the biggest one I can see is right there, right off the 3M. It took a um, rock chip there. But other than that, you can kind of see across that there are a few things here and there. But again, a 2012 in this kind of shape is pretty good. Mind that uh, tractor in the background hammering in some stuff. Um, you'll notice on this side, there is a slight trim. It's starting to peel a little bit there, but not too, too bad. Um, we had a guy look at that. The clips are still holding on there. But overall, this van is in very good shape. It's got the automatic doors on both sides. Again, the all-wheel drive. It does have crossbars on top. That was an option you had to get. So if you want to throw something like a Thule or anything on there. We'll jump in the backside here and give you an idea. Again, the Limited does come with a lot of um, good up upgraded features. You have the rear parking sensors right there. They go all the way around, so they'll give you an audible beep on the inside. You do have the automatic um, tailgate. So again, you just press the button. Sorry, I hit the button and it was already open. That's why it didn't go up. But again, you have the automatic button. You just hit this guy here, it will come down for you. The nice part about these vans is you can slam it or use the, the button. You don't have to use both or just one or the other. Some of our other vehicles, you only have the function to um, press the button, let it go down. But time's sake, sometimes it's nice to have that. So if you take a peek in here, again, tons of room. You can fit all sorts of things. That's where these vans really, once you've gone through this, the storage capabilities you have, well, carrying all the people is still pretty incredible. So right off the bat, you can take a peek at these guys. So if I take this guy while I'm holding the phone, I press one, pull two, and it goes forward. And then I pull this back. I can pop it back again while I'm holding the phone. And if I flip this guy down like that, it gives you a nice level uh, storage. Those seats do come out. They're not as easy to pull out, but you can. You can see the little handle right there. So if you need a full thoroughfare, you can do that as well. And then these guys do pop back up. Let me get this guy back right here. Again, one-handed. We're holding the phone. That pops in there nice and nice. So those things do recline as well, so I can pull those back, the headrests up and down. Um, lots of little features there. In the back here, you're going to have lights. You're going to have a power outlet right there in the back. And then one of the things I like is if you look, there's little hooks everywhere. This particular set of hooks is for, like that one right there, is for a net, the cargo net that you can get with these guys. But those hooks along the bottom, are exactly what they look like grocery bag hooks so you can stick them in there and not have to grip groceries flying in and about everywhere you go so i hit this button brings that back down if you take a peek you're going to see the odd little scratch like that guy right there but again 2012 this thing's in very good shape been maintained through the dealer the whole way through pull that back opens up automatically the key will do it as well let me see if i can grab the key you can see on the key there you do have um, the doors as well. So a smart key. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. These back seats, this era of the Limited had a few things which are pretty nice. This guy, it has the reclining chair. So if you wanted to pop in there and roll that seat back, you've got a nice, really comfortable, comfortable chair in there. These guys do move forward and back there. This guy comes forward. So if I move this back, mind my camera work. Move this guy back right here. Slide it forward. I can get in again all one hand that I can get into the back seat if I need to. We'll pop this guy back. We'll jump in and show you a couple other things inside here. Let me get this seat back. So when I get in here, the back seat, you're gonna have the big DVD player. This can go for a split screen, so you can have two screens going at once, but you do get the wide Blu-ray player there as well. Let me just shut this guy so you don't hear that tractor. So inside here, you're gonna have cup holders, power outlets, all right there. This is a video outlet here, so you can hook up like a PlayStation or stuff like that. You do have this compartment that opens up, so if you wanna throw some stuff or get the cup holders a little closer, put that there. And again, as you take a peek in here, just very nice. This is the limited, so you get the nice leather all the way through, and then the big captain seats here. Um, nice seats in the back there. These seats move forward, so you can get more room right there if you need to. And then the one thing I really like is the panoramic roof. 
when you're sitting back here and you take a peek at that panoramic roof it is a really nice feature it makes you feel like you're much wider inside we'll jump back outside jump in the front seat oh before i do that you do have the privacy ones here as well so you can hook those things up and get rid of the sun out of your people's face in the back press this button right here it opens up that door with the smart key when i shut that one you can see a little bit more of those scratches in there but again it's red it's in still good shape so smart key you'll see you've got two little buttons right there that locks all your doors and if you want to unlock the doors you just reach in behind and you can unlock it now you can set that to unlock just the driver's door or all the doors depending on how you like um, again awesome little vehicle we'll jump inside take a peek at this a little bit of a tear on there that's something we can fix as well if that's something that really bothers you can be fixed this does have the JBL upgraded stereo that's the nice thing in these vans there's a huge amount of speakers in these things I think it's 16 um, speakers in the JBL upgraded stereo you have power all the way through so your front and sides so again even these windows they do come down which is nice memory seats is a big one for me especially considering uh, my wife and I like our seats a little different she likes the lumbar and I don't so you can set those however you'd like that's going to do the mirrors the steering wheel all sorts of stuff like that it's going to get you um, to the right spot speaking of the seats you do have power all the way through you've got lumbar right there lumbar story that controls the back piece for you and then again a really nice set of seats again even though it's a used vehicle the leather is in still great shape we'll jump inside here and show you a couple more of the features on the inside so jumping into the interior of this car you can tell it's a limited it's got the nice wood trim all the way through little grooves on the back for your fingers back there leather wrapped here for you groove in the back even though it's 2012 you still get your bluetooth phone um, set up right there so voice command all your um, different modes in your volume controls change channels all that right there this is a telescoping and um, movable steering wheel so it does come up and down and out depending on where you're comfortable cruise control back there a couple of nice things right over here these are your rear vents this is a big one if you not use it you don't want to have to crawl all the way to the back of your car to open up those rear vents um, the back windows that open up just slightly like that you do have the automatic mirror dim or mirror um, pull so these things will tuck the mirrors in when you get into a parking spot um, and again your mirror control right there underneath here you have a little bit of a cubby for your change and whatnot in there um, you've got power doors off so if you don't want your power doors to be used while you're driving you can turn them off right there which is a nice option and again if you look right here this is a, a airbag so your your knee airbag will pop even though you've got one up on your steering wheel as well so you've got an airbag here and underneath it gives you a nice nice control you do have a curtain airbag as well here so it'll cover this whole side so if you do get in an accident with this guy you've got your full um, uh, setup of airbags all the way through you do have them there as well side curtains come through here as well lots of airbags in this guy we'll take a peek at this section here you have your blu-ray dvd player right here so you can pop them in right there cup holders into that section your heated seats up front and again this is going to be for your infotainment center right there which i'll turn on in a second you've got your shifting to drive and you got sport shifter right there so again if you want to shift you can um go through it like you're in a manual drive all your different modes this is going to have a triple climb control so your back occupants which are going to be this guy here i'm um, sorry yeah the rear, rear temperature here and then your back occupants there and then all your control if i want to sync them all together i've got one button right there and then again your driver sitting there so if i turn this guy on you have your push button start We'll start with the center console right here so you can see at 140k this guy's just getting broken in if you ever had a sienna van these things are a long-term van these things run for a long long time you do have navigation in this guy as well so again navigation system full touch screen everything you need to have is all right there super easy nav you can use the voice command with it so if i can press the button right there all the different options i can run through right there um, but again nice um, setup so if i go to this guy here go audio i can adjust through the dvd satellite am fm um, all sorts of details right there i can set up all this stuff so if i want to go with the navigation i can set up different routes um, favorites those kinds of things so that i can actually um, prep that so satellite radio is right there my presets all i need to do is find the right station hold that button down and it will adjust that station for me um, nice option am fm your disc is right there as well so if i load this you'll see the the discs again down there nice option turn this off and again one of the nice things is this stereo the jbl stereo is really really nice 
Right there, I've got more information on my uh, interior climate on this guy. One thing I didn't show you on this screen is you do have a backup camera here as well. So if I go to that, you get your backup camera, wide angle, and I can actually adjust the way this looks. So if I want a little bit more close up or that wide angle, I just touch the button up there and it adjusts. I can even change these lines to the one I like. This is the particular one that as I turn the steering wheel, you can see it turn. Um, you can tell where your vehicle is going to be. So if you're gonna run into anything like that. But again, always check your surroundings, just like the bottom says. Inside here, you're gonna have a glove box um, for storage and maps and all that kind of stuff there. Plus you've got another one down here. This is the lockable one. All your manuals are in there as well. So you can lock and put a little more valuables into that guy. But overall, amazing little vehicle. Lots of extra creature comforts in this guy. Again, that panoramic roof in the back is nice and a limited all wheel drive, which is a nice option. And then these guys have the, the lazy boy chairs that kick out like that. But overall, very, very nice vehicle. There were a couple of accidents on it. On the right hand side, there was an $1,100 accident and a $5,000 accident. All that takes is maybe one door panel or something like that pops up. But that was early on in its life. It was at 9,000 kilometers when that happened. So at that point, they would have fixed everything rather than replaced it. But overall, really nice vehicle. Again, bang for your buck here. This is a fully loaded, um, limited all wheel drive Sienna van. Um, come on down, cock and tow it, and check her out.